Hey everybody, I uh, just want to shoot a little update here on the uh, 125 native tank. Uh, I want to first let you know I have lost a total of five shiners in the last three or four days. Uh, came down this morning, there was one dead. Uh, came down the other day and there was one dying. And then I came down uh, the day before yesterday and there was actually three of them that had died overnight. So hopefully that has sorted out all of the ones that were not going to make it. I sort of expected when I put the 18 of them in here, uh, I really didn't expect that many to live. And I also think I was shortchanged. I think I was only given 16 instead of 18. It's kind of hard to count them. Uh, but in a few videos, I've paused it and counted, and I've never counted more than 16 fish. So I think I was not given my full 18 to begin with. And beings that I bought them from a bait and tackle shop simply as bait fish, shiners, uh, I really didn't expect them to live terribly long. I figured I would have some casualties within 24 hours, and then I figured within a week or so, I'd be down to maybe five or six of them that were going to survive long term. So, so far, we're doing pretty good as far as what I expected. Uh, I have lost a total of five now. So I should be down to 11 if all of my counts are correct. And again, I'm not really going to bother because it's not really that important. The other thing I wanted to point out was I did a water change recently. And in a video not long ago, I pointed out how I had discovered that I had some Spirogyra algae growing in here. And you could see it clearly growing off the top of this rock here. And in the video, I explained the way I treated the rock was not real thoroughly. I basically scrubbed it down with a wire brush and a garden hose uh, because it was of its size, basically. And then when I put it in the tank, I treated the tank with a fairly significant dose of hydrogen peroxide, but it was not any kind of concentrated dose. It was a higher dose than uh, I would have been able to do if I had fish in the tank. But it was not so high of a dose that it was like I was spraying hydrogen peroxide directly onto the rock. So what I did during the water change was I lowered the water level down about where you can see this white sort of line on this piece of wood here. And then I did spray that wood a little bit just to see what would happen. Uh, you can tell it cleared away an area. Uh, sterilized it and then I started getting some more of that sort of gray looking fungus growing on it again after I filled the tank back up so I clearly sterilized an area of the wood and then you know restarted that growth again but if you look at the top of the rock not only is there no more spirogyra algae but look how clean the top of the rock is I know it's kind of hard to tell in the tank the way I've got the rock angled but you can see how the top of the rock is much much cleaner than further down on the rock and that's because that's where I sprayed the hydrogen peroxide directly on the rock and where the little bits of spirogyra algae were growing I started by taking some of my filter material some clean um, polyester batting and I got that wet with hydrogen peroxide and I sort of used it to wipe and scrape and kind of clean the area as best I could and when I got all the physical algae removed as much as I could remember algae is a single celled organism it's not a macro plant it's a colony of single cells so you can physically remove as much as you can see if you leave a single cell behind it will grow back so once I removed what I could physically see, I then took a little stiff bristled plastic scrub brush and continued to squirt the rock with hydrogen peroxide uh, and then would scrub and scrub and scrub until I wasn't getting any more suds and then I would spray a little more hydrogen peroxide and I would scrub and scrub. And I did that for maybe 20 minutes while I was doing the water change. Uh, and then I filled the tank back up and everything is good to go. And I have not seen so much as a trace of green even coloration appearing on the top of this rock again and it's been I don't know maybe a week since I've done that so I think I got it I think I actually cleared all that spirogyra off of there and I have not yet seen it start growing anywhere else in the tank so we should be spirogyra free it does look like I'm gonna have some other kinds of stuff growing in the tank I'm not really sure what's going on with this piece of wood that still has the bark on it I don't know if that's blackbeard algae 
uh, that's beginning to grow on there or what, but it's definitely got this odd sort of brown, spiky, fuzzy looking stuff growing on it that I don't see growing on any of the other wood. So we might have something interesting to watch and see how that develops there. So that was supposed to be a quick update. I wound up talking about the algae a little longer than I expected, uh, but that was kind of the point of the video is I wanted to talk about how I treated that algae and how I got rid of it. So I think I did get rid of all of that spirogyra algae. So thanks for watching this one. Please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I do have some plans to do some other stuff. My power head arrived, uh, so I will be adding another power head to this tank, and I got a video coming up on that real soon too. So this is my native tank, and if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything I got coming up. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon on the next one.